Hello, geeks. October's here. <clears throat> Means witching hour is at hand. What a great time to talk about Hocus Pocus. And Sarda, zombie ch ch chia So I put a spell on you. Now you're mine. So rewatching Hocus Pocus, I noticed these two gentlemen, who remind me an awful lot of a young Jay and Silent Bob. Perhaps that's who they are. After being locked up by witches, they decided to move, change their name, and perhaps that's where Bob lost his voice. But we're not here to talk about them. We're here to talk about the Sanderson sisters. As we know, they were killed in 1693 in Salem, Massachusetts. What else do we know about North American wizardry and witches? Well, if we look at Pottermore for more information, we know witches and wizards were here long before the settlers within the Native American tribes. The wizards within these tribes were more adept at animal and plant magic than they were with wand magic, as was the case in Europe. There were also stories of skinwalkers within these tribes that were evil witches and wizards that could turn into animals. This actually has history behind it when a evil wizard killed his family in order to have these great powers. My theory is it was one of these skinwalkers that actually gave Winifred Sanderson her book and not the devil himself. The reason I say this is because during trick-or-treating, Winifred is tricked into thinking the man dressed as the devil was the devil. If she actually met the true devil, I believe that she would know what he looked like. And perhaps the skinwalker was able to morph himself into something similar that looked like a devil with horns. <clears throat> also happening in Massachusetts, was a school founded in 1634 called Ilvermorny School. The school, like Hogwarts, had four houses. I'm gonna leave a link below to Pottermore if you wanna read more about the school and how it was founded. But I just wanna focus on the houses today and I want to sort the Sanderson sisters into one of the four houses. The four houses at Ilvermorny are gonna be the Thunderbird, which represents the soul of the wizard and often favors adventurers. The Wombus, which is like the body of the wizard and favors warriors. The Horned Serpent, that is the mind of the wizard and favors scholars. And lastly, Pukwudgy, which is the heart of the wizard and often favors the healers. So it is my belief that Winifred, when sorted in this house, would have been sorted as the Horned Serpent. Of the three sisters, she is the one that is, seems educated and knowledgeable and wanting to learn higher magic. She's also the one with the book. Mary Sanderson, I believe, would have been sorted as a wombus. The reason for that is she's the one that seems to stand up for her sisters the most and tries to get in the way of whatever's threatening them and protecting her sisters. Sarah was a little bit harder for me to determine. I decided on the Thunderbird because she seemed to be more adventurous. When in the home of the devil, she wanted to dance with him and wasn't scared, was adventurous, wanted to live life to its fullest. So that's why I decided to put her there. I don't believe that all three sisters actually finished their courses within school before they met the Skinwalker. This could be why they don't actually use wands. Because if they continued their lessons from the Skinwalker, rather than continuing their education within the School of Witchcraft and Wizardry, they would learn how to control their powers without the use of a wand. They also seemed more adept at black magic rather than the traditional magic that would be taught at a school. So now that we have the witches sorted, let's make our zombie come to life. ch 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 chia ch 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 chia zombie So, I have to admit, this is going to be my first 
chia ever. Looks like I got some help here. I got Nacho. Tater's over here helping too. We got our brains. Mmm, brains. Very important for zombies to get their nutritional brains. And it said, gook and spread. So in the Sanderson sisters, or Hocus Pocus rather, their zombie was in love with Winifred, and then had a fling with Sarah. Who wouldn't? I know. And Winifred got angry and turned him into a zombie. Closed his mouth so he can't talk to any other girls. How sad is that? Turned out to be a really nice guy, though. Helped the kids survive the witches and protected Danny from being their sacrificial lamb so they could live for another night. Spread the seeds around. Rains. So, we got our gunk on, our brains for our zombie to grow nice and strong. And that's all I have for you this week. Um, see you next week where we'll talk about another Halloween show. Because Halloween's the bomb, yo. And... Have a good night. We'll check out our zombie hand next week. Later, geeks.